the penultimate day, the Puma Moth World's Anarchy Report. I'm here with the leader and maybe an unassailable lead here, Simon Payne. How are you, man? I'm good, thank you. Well, that's, you know, a bit punchy so far. We've still got a day to go. Um, but it was a decent day today, even though I didn't win a race. I got three seconds, and it was damned hard work out there. Um, so, yeah, I'll take that. You know, I made some big mistakes, which I'm, I'm not happy about. I can't hit a ley line right now, and... Uh, that's a point to improve. Well, look, but. I think with the with the with the wind going up and down so much, we saw a lot of great sailors missing ley lines. You know, obviously, if the if the if the lull comes in like they were coming in in waves, uh, your ley line changes by a massive amount, right? Mm, it does, and you know, I, I there's weird conditions out there, and I'm so conscious of getting myself stuck out in a corner. Um, and I, I know I've got a decent discard, but it's still something in me says just take it easy. You know, if you're in the top three, well, that'll do. And what happens is the race officer starts the race, you know, when there's a good breeze. Um, and I'm fast in that, and I make my gains there. And typically, it seemed anyway, that the breeze kind of died throughout the race. Um, and, you know, some of the guys with the other rigs, you know, um, just start to eat me up a little bit. Uh, even though I'm light, I have to carry a very flat sail to compete in all conditions. And I'm just pretty vulnerable, ironically, down at the bottom end. I mean, it could be me, it probably is. But, um, but you know, I mean, given um, I haven't really sailed since the gorge, I mean, I was just, you know, I, I came here hoping to think, shit, I just hope I can still stay in the top ten, you know. Well, but it's funny, we watch you, you know, you've, you've had really nice starts. Uh, you know, the, the start of, I think, race one today, you had a beautiful start, just went right over the fleet. And, um, uh, you know, and then, and then like you say, you know, then we sort of see it coming back down and, and, and you're, you know, you're in the last race today, same thing. You lead around the mark, mm. come back down the second time around, and Brad is, is 45 seconds ahead of you. What, how, what I mean, what's going on out there? Yeah, you know, I mean, that, Moscow left on the first beat, right on the second. And I was really conscious of, when you're leading out onto the right-hand side, you know, I mean, you've almost got to be the first boat to tack. Because if you overstand too far, people just go under you. Um, so it, it, it is tricky. I mean, it's not something that uh, I would say is a strength of mine, actually, judging those ley lines. You know, you get to a certain age, you can barely see the bloody marks. So, um, but anyway, the starts are good. I, I had shit starts in the gorge, and I came here hoping that one thing I could improve on was the start. I mean, we had a black flag out there um, and a recall, and uh, that start was hideous. So thank Christ that they didn't let that one go. I think um, AMAC floated by at one point, and, and, and we had been doing the numbers, and we figured out it, after the second race, it was uh, it was you in first and he in second. Yeah. Uh, he was tied with Brad at that point. And Brad's yeah. taken him since. But, you know, uh, we told him that, and he said, this isn't a young man's sport, is it? He said, yeah. what's the average age? You're, you're 44, 45. 45. And AMAC's yeah. 55, 56. Yeah, exactly. And you guys are, uh, you know, at least Brad in the middle now. But, I mean, uh, what does that mean for, for the boat, the classes, or is it just because it's so light? It's fantastic, isn't it? You know, I mean, there must be a lot of 40-somethings around the world um, losing weight, trying to get fit to sell these boats. And that, you know, it's a pretty healthy lifestyle thing to do. So, yeah, I mean, age isn't a barrier, and, you know, unless you think it is. I mean... If I didn't know how old I'd be, uh, how old I was, I'd, I, I kind of wonder really if I was still 20. Um, you've got to stay I, fit I, and I, do I well. I can relate. Other than yeah. the fit part, yeah, I can relate. Yeah, I mean, just don't believe people, you know, that's the thing, and do your own thing. Have you, I mean, have you had people telling you that this is, man, but, you know, why don't you get into a fucking... Oh, the young guys are always taking the piss, you know. <laughs> well. But, um, you know, you beat them to the finish and give them the bird and that, so... You can, you, so, can, you can give it, you can take it. Dude. Yeah, absolutely. It's great that we've got old people in this class. And I've, you know, Amat's a great friend of mine. I have huge respect for him. He is, we're all PC and he's Apple Mac. You know, he marches to the beat of a different drum. And um, it's because of that that we get innovation. And it's because of that he goes so bloody quick when he can't really tackle jive that well. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, man, thanks again. And great, right. great job okay. today. And well, uh, thank you. it looks like you've got a, a really strong, a really strong uh, uh, lead going into this. And I hope. I hope I'll look at the board and, you know, don't do anything different. A couple of beers, maybe finish it off with a rum and coke later, and then read my book and go to bed. So. All right. Well, hey, <laughs> good luck tomorrow. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.